welcome back to Crystal Skulls 2. I am Izzy Noodles. I've mentioned, I think in Waterfall Valley 2, that I wanted to do longer videos, but I actually made that one after I had planned the parts for Crystal Skulls 2. So apologies for that. This game will have shorter parts, but I assure you that will change for later games. So anyway, here we go. We've landed right here. So here we are. And if you run into the room straight away, there is a snake around the corner. So just try to avoid him. And the uh, avoid the spiky pit as well. Oh, I thought I'd got him. Come on. There we go. So yeah, be careful of that right there. And there's a keyhole on the wall. And there's a cage thing there. And a cage thing here. And the first thing we want to do, we want to go through that crawl space, but there is a door that's closed, a gate that's closed. So we need to open that first, and there is a jump switch right here that will do that for us. I need to get what's inside that cage. It might help me with better aiming. So she's talking about this cage right here. That on the ground there is a laser sight, or a scope, it's actually called in this one. So that's what we need from this room. That's the only reason we are in here. So just come into the gap and follow it round. And this is where the gate would have been, but we can climb down into the gap now. And there is that passage to the left-hand side just there, but there is another closed gate. We actually are coming down here to open that gate. It's like a switch to pull switch. We need to open a gate to open a gate. So I'm actually going to save just here. I know it's a very early place to save, but this can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so you want to slide down this slope forward. So you need to hang and then let go. There's a boulder behind you and you want to jump at the last moment and you want to continue to swing. Yeah, <laughs> you want to continue to swing because the boulder can grab Lara. You just have more chance of avoiding it if you're swinging. Right, so here we go again. So jump at the last moment and swing on the pole, maybe. Oh, nope, missed. Okay, I made it that time. So you got another boulder, but as soon as she lands, you want to hop back and the boulder will completely miss Lara. So just come through here. You got a raptor, so just don't let him scare you. Pretty easy to deal with. Ooh. There we go. And you need to jump up here. There is a lever up here. You may have noticed a jump switch on the wall, but we'll ignore that for now. There is a snake here. There we go. As soon as he starts dancing, he's dead. So this is the primary lever, whatever word I'm supposed to use. <laughs> there we go. It's opened the gate. Okay, so we've now spawned a couple of bats. Okay. So that lever is uh, what I'm trying to say. I think I'm trying to say the primary lever, the first thing we need to do, because that will lead us to where we need to be. And now we can use this jump switch, and this does two things. It's opened that, which is on the beach area, and it's also opened this door. And if we run straight into that light, we are back in the cage room. Magic. So now that all the doors open, we can come back down here. There we go. So we can't go down there again now. But we can now come this way. Just hop onto the monkey bars and make your way across. And don't fall off because uh, death would be imminent. Ok, 
Okay, so when you're across, just let go, and you've got a sloop here, and you want to use that to grab the ledge here. There we go, so now just pull up. And we want this key, so just wait for the fire, grab the key. Now we can leave. So we do actually need to follow the uh, monkey bars again to get down. So just make your way back downwards to where we were. Can take a bit of time. Okay. So we can actually use this key in this room. So once you're able to stand, just come on over, hop the gap, and here is the keyhole. So it says cage key, but that actually um, is for the cage behind Lara. There we go, so we can now use this. This looks like a climbable pole, but it's not. It's a chain, a chain type dealie. And it's raised this cage, and we can now pick up our laser sight or scope. Sometimes I have trouble picking that up, so just duck down if you can't actually pick it up. And we can leave this way. This has opened up to us so we can get out of here. So to get out of this gap, once we get to the end, you want to flip out. And you might recognize where we are. To get out of it here, you actually need to press the jump button. Don't climb up though. You need to press the jump in order to actually grab that ledge. And we're back at the beach. So now I'm going to the place that I opened up before. Remember in part one, actually while I'm here, just going to point out that hole there. Don't forget about that hole. So uh, in part one, uh, we are opened... Oh, Mind the sloop. We opened this door, but we couldn't actually come through here because there's another door up top, which I have actually just opened. Just try and line yourself up so you can grab the pole. Nope, that's not very good. There we go. So there's the door we've just opened. So we need to jump to that, and it can be a little bit tricky. So you do just want to run and jump, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes she slides down. Have patience. No. Oh, Lara, please, come on. There we go. So now we've got some craziness going on. You just want to hang from the ledge. I often come to the right hand side. You want to wait for the bogus to go to the right and then drop and roll. Hop over the boulder really quick and jump and grab and pull up as fast as you can. If you are hanging from the ledge, the boulder can grab Laura's feet and she will die. So if you pull this lever, that stops the boulder See, it's fallen down a hole there. And it's removed the spikes here so we can jump up. Okay, so up top there, that's where I was, um, I don't know if it's the second coin, I've lost count. <laughs> One of the coins is up there. And in that flyby it showed us these two dragon heads. These are actually poles, but we need to have them out so we can climb them, or swing on them rather. 
So if you come into this corner, we'll have a few bats. Is that all of them? Looks like it. So we run through here, and this lever will make the poles come out of the walls, but obviously it's going to be timed. It's Tomb Raider. What's Tomb Raider without timers? So pull it, and I'm usually uh, pretty lucky with just gunning it through there. There we go. <laughs> so you've got a slope here. You don't want to be too high on the slope, otherwise Lara will bang her head and not grab the poles. So you just want to jump to this gap. I say gap, it's a ledge. <laughs> this part here. Come. You don't have to be all the way forward, but pretty forward. And uh, feel free to keep saving if you're messing up. I just saved the lols, so here we go. Okay, so here you obviously have to wait for the flame to disappear. And then just jump to this ledge. Straight ahead you got a snake over there, so you do really need to kill him from here because he can knock you off before you've even landed, <laughs> so that's kind of annoying. So this one can be a little tedious, you need to take two steps back. Don't be too close to the right, Lara's right hand side there because she'll knock her head and turn and not stand in the correct place because of that slopey part there. And so around about where I'm standing, we'll see if it works. You just want to do a standing jump to here, perfect. So wait for that flame to disappear. And then, yes, there we go. I thought I wasn't going to make it. You do need to veer to the right when you let go of that pole. So next, you can't see very well because there is a bush sticking out of the wall. But we're going over there. So just keep to the right hand side. Find this slope. And you can do a half tile jump. There we go. So this bit here is also kind of slopey. So just be aware of that. Because if you uh, land too close to the edge, you'll just slide off. So let's have a look. There is the coin, and there's a cage around it, but this lever removes the cage. There we go. So I'm going to walk just in case I find a slope. So right between Laura's legs you can just see a point you want to be standing here so then you can just do a standing jump to here but we can't grab the coin yet unfortunately so we just need to do something about that fire <laughs> so there is a lever over here so just pull that and we'll actually spawn a couple of bats, so just sort of slide a bit and then jump. Deal with the bats. Okay. So that lever didn't actually turn the fire off, but it's now in intervals, so you have a moment to grab the coin. And you don't want to step, uh, stand on the entire tile while the fire is on, because it will just set you on fire. So don't be too close when the fire's on. From here, you just want to come back down to here. And you can find a slope and grab and let go. Perfect. Whoop, didn't mean to roll. And now you've got your coin, you can just leave the area. Come straight back to the beach the way you came. Whoop. So you, this can be a little tricky to get up to. There we go. You might just need to keep lining yourself up. Awesome. So here we are back at the beach, but now it's raining. All the swears you come to the beach and it rains. But there is a, a parrot that I forgot about. <laughs> Deal with the parrot. Okay, so now if we come to this hole, it's full of water. So, 
we're going to take advantage of that and we can swim into this little gap. So just follow it all the way to the end. Stuck. There we go. And you can hear raptors. <laughs> so you do have just a couple of compies here. Uh, the raptor is behind the cage, so don't worry about him coming and eating you. I've got a few items here, I'll just light a flare because it's not easy to spot them on the ground. Small med pack. And on this pedestal in the corner there are some arrows. And over in this corner you can move this skeleton out of the way. And he is sitting on the crossbow. So hop over and grab that, and the moment you pick it up, you're going to spawn a couple of raptors. So you come to the bottom of the slope. Oh wow, he was close. You've got a, a safe spot right here for some reason. I don't fully understand it, but you are safe at the bottom of the slope. And don't forget you can press the look button to target on different enemies. Just give it a tap. Awesome. So yeah, opening a uh, picking up the crossbow opened this door that actually had raptors behind it, but we didn't know that. <laughs> so just in this corner you've got a large med pack and if you hop up here you go into the other room where the raptor is also there's a few bats trying to bite Lara's ass rude so this passage will lead us into the next cage area There we go. So you've got a safe gap right here, but sometimes this raptor won't die. And I don't know whether it's because it's been programmed so you're not just trying to hide from the raptor. So if it's not dying, you might actually have to hop into the space and do some jumping about. We'll see how it goes. Because it's random for myself when I've been practicing. He sometimes dies, he sometimes doesn't. Got a feeling he's not gonna die. I'll get that compy. <laughs> oh, I got him! Awesome. So, in the corner, in this area, is a lever. Let's see what it does. So that's in the area where we started, in the water, so if you've been swimming around a lot and trying to figure out where you are, you may have found that space, where that is. So now we can leave and head straight to there. So uh, unfortunately you don't have your uh, sprint roll option in this game, so you do have to crawl slowly. And as you flip out of here, you might notice there's a ladder on the wall there. Very sneaky. So we do need to go up here. There's a, an important item, and if we don't get it... Whoop, uh, you actually have to come back and get it. I assume I actually found it the first time I played, so I didn't actually not have it. <laughs> But up here you've got a couple of pots to shoot. There's that one and this one. So we've got some flares and I think it's shotgun shells. Yep, yep shotgun shells. And we've got this blue gem. It looks green in the ambience but it is blue. So if when you pick it up you want to do a side jump. You'll avoid the uh, full brunt of that, you won't take the full amount of damage. 
So now just hop down and you can hear that you've spawned another raptor. So just grow now. <laughs> Rude. Uh, you can ignore him and just leave, but Lara's a killer, so let's kill him. He's not. Come on. He ain't gonna die. That's new. <laughs> I've never known it take this long to kill a raptor. You know what? Forget it. <laughs> Forget it, because, wow. <laughs> I got things to do. <laughs> so, just hop back in the water, swim back through. Okay. So now we're going straight to that underwater gate that we opened. So you want to just follow around. Ooh. So if you come to here, we've been here before. Just a, an idea of how to get there. You've got that rock that we used as a landmark before. So you can't go through that way. Don't know why, but it won't let you. So you want to take the first left as soon as you can. Follow it around and you do come to a fork here. You don't want to go to the left again. We've been that way before. That's the room where we got the first coin. So you want to take this route come down here this is the gate we opened and I forgot to mention that you don't actually need to worry if your health's getting low or if your breath's getting low because we've got a new level you take a little bit of damage on that fall kind of cheeky but we'll be all right <laughs> so this is actually where I'm going to end the video so sorry that these ones for this game are going to be quite short but it won't be like that for the rest of the games so Thank you for watching, take it easy.